Hey guys, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I'm going to show you 10 fish you can keep in a 10 gallon aquarium. Hopefully there's something for everyone in this one. There's going to be cichlids, there's going to be live bears, there's going to be tetras, even some killifish. And hopefully something new for you to keep because I know we get a little stale and we like what we like. We haven't tried other things and so maybe this will get your brain thinking on what you can do with that 10 gallon sitting in the corner. First up we've got the brown tailed pencil fish. This is a cool guy, it points its nose up towards the top of the water. It will jump if you give it a chance, so make sure you got a tight fitting lid. Very small mouth, not aggressive, relatively cheap. We sell them at three bucks. I'd keep them in a group of five or six or so, and uh, they inhabit the upper level. So a lot of times it's hard to find a peaceful fish that will stay at the top of a tank in a 10 gallon. So that's what I've got for you as my first recommendation. Next up, I'm going to recommend a pair of epistogrammas. Now, a lot of times this ends up being a species-only tank, uh, but like this male here and that male there, they're so beautiful, and they've got a few females in the back there, but you can spawn them. I've done epistogram borelli, I've done uh, cockatoides, both the double red and the orange flash, and agazizii. So you can see there, there's a pair living in the cave. They usually like a cave to spawn in. They keep the rest of them out and uh, it's a very cool experience. My third one, for those who like something a little different, we've got the Orange Austral Killifish. You could keep these in just a pair, that's what they're most commonly sold as. The male's bright and beautiful, females not so much. Uh, I would say optimal, heavy planted tank with maybe two females to a male, and you could spawn these and raise up fry all in the same tank, which is pretty darn fun, I've done that and a little bit something different. They don't have to be heated. In fact, they like cooler temperatures. They are a jumper though, so make sure you got that lid on tight. They like things like blood worms and that kind of stuff. They're, you know, they're not very nice against small fish. That's where the killie fish comes from, but uh, they are cool and a fun use of a 10 gallon. So next up, I've got coolie loaches for you guys. They come in a bunch of different varieties. You can see here is a normal striped one. They're in the back there. They love to live in a planted tank. They absolutely love it. They're a great scavenger. They love to live along the roots and underneath wood, stuff like that. They're a great thing you can add as a scavenger cleanup crew to your 10 gallon and enjoy them along with whatever else you choose. So Cooley Loach, and I'll spell that out for you right there. Cooley Loach. And, uh, you know, enjoy those along with the other stuff. Up next we have kind of, I'm going to call it the common cherry barb. These are a great schooling fish. The males have a bunch of color, females not so much. You can spawn them in only 10 gallons. That makes them pretty sweet. And you could have this nice red fish against like maybe a green backdrop or something like that. And you could mix them with neon tetras and those types of things. You know, don't go too crazy. You've only got 10 gallons to play with. But very cool fish, very mild barb. So they're not really aggressive at all in my experience. And... Uh, they're just a fun, beautiful fish. Here we've got the gold white cloud. Now the gold white cloud just looks so good. You can do normal white clouds, you can do long fin, you can do any of them, but gold in particular really catch my eye. They don't have to be heated, that's a perk. You can keep them in an office building, that type of thing, or a school. They love plants. If you keep only them, real easy to spawn in your planted tank. So that's another one you can spawn. And those are ones, add food, will probably spawn for you as long as you got male, female. And real simple, real nice, real easy. You can see here we've got it living with a betta and uh, just a fun tank. They also live with shrimp in there. So the next one I've got for you is an African cichlid. These are multifasciata shell dwellers. That means they want to live in shells. They only get maybe an inch and three quarters to two inches max. They live in big colonies. Males will breed with all the girls. They'll raise up the babies in the shells. They live in there. They're super cool. They dig pits all the time. They're nicknamed the bulldozers because they rearrange. They're the perfect desktop aquarium fish. They do well in a 10 gallon. You know, they're gonna breed so much you'll have to get rid of them, but hey, that's a good thing. They like harder water, higher pH, and I find the trick is to really put a lot of food in if you wanna raise those babies. Next up, I've got the green neon rasbora. Not a common fish, but I wanna include something that's really cool looking and not everyone's going to have. And that's that green neon rasbora. That iridescent green is almost never seen in the hobby. And uh, the, like the more tan the water is, the more that green really shines. So if you were doing a black water aquarium, that green would just, it, they'd look radioactive. Keep them in a group of, you know, six or more. They don't get very large. And, uh, you know, just a cool thing I wanted to show you guys, give you something to pine after, going, ooh, I want to find some of those in my local store. 
this would be those. I think I'd be doing a disservice if, I'd, if I did not recommend guppies, specifically fancy guppies for a 10 gallon aquarium. In my opinion, they are the perfect fish. You get infinite colors, you get free babies, you make every type, they're peaceful, they clean up after themselves. The only problem is they don't live very long. They like hard water, which most of the country's got hard water anyway. But I would recommend Fancy Guppies. If you've never done a 10-gallon tank with Fancy Guppies, you have not lived in the aquarium hobby yet, my friends. My last recommendation is the teacup or teapot platy. They're a balloon form, so they don't get nearly as large, so they can do well in 10 gallons. I just think they're adorable and super cool. I can't get enough of them. They're not the easiest to find, but man, I want to get them on camera as much as I can. I've had them three times in my hobby ever now, and I've loved them every single time, and I have to show them to you guys and give you something to pine after. Like, oh, I really want to find these for my 10 gallon. Well, here's your chance. And, uh, you know, that, that black and that red against a green backdrop of a planet tank, oof, I'm not sure there's something that looks better. So there you go, guys. If you like this series, let me know. and We'll do more. Maybe we'll do 20 suggestions for 20 gallons or 5 for 5 gallons, something like that. I just know I wanted to showcase more fish, bring you guys more stuff, more ideas. It's the most commonly asked question. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys like it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, do all those things. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for subscribing. On the left, we have our latest video. Make sure you check that out. On the right, we have more videos lined up for you, which we think you'll enjoy if you enjoyed this video. Down below, we have the Jimmy of Aquarium co-op channel. Make sure you check that out, and we'll see you in the next one.